Let's take a look at how NX with synchronous technology allows us to edit multi-CAD data. We've opened up this CATIA V5 cat part. The first change we want to make is adjust the positioning of this mounting flat and its two holes. Picking the planar face and then using face finder to pick the boss and pocket faces, we can quickly identify the geometry we need and then rotate it around the central axis. Face finder works regardless of the fact that there are no features on the model. To finish off we'll quickly adjust the height of this inside step and you can see how synchronous adapts the geometry. We're going to make a more complex change to this Cotillo part. We're going to change the radius of these blends. Unfortunately one set won't select because they're outside the tolerance to be recognized as blend geometry. Let's look at the first of two new tools in NX7. Replace blend to convert B surfaces into blends. When you enter the command one of the things you can do is have NX highlight all of the faces that could cause problems. We can then decide which action to take. In this case we're just going to replace the one blend to allow us to do the edit we want. We can now go on and change the blend radius as we needed to, reducing the number from five and a half to four. That's just one of the tools that we've added in NX7 to make working with multi-CAD data easier. We'll look at optimized face in our next demonstration. Now let's make a bigger change to this Katia part. We're going to change the blend that runs around the outside of the body. Unfortunately, this blend cannot be edited. In this case, we're going to use Optimize Face to clean up the geometry. NX can automatically highlight for you areas of concern and geometry that could be causing problems. This allows you to pick which geometry you want to optimize. You may choose not to optimize the whole model as this could be time consuming. In this case we're just going to rectangle around the geometry and select the highlighted faces. After doing the optimization you can get an optional report which shows you what the system's done. In this part you'll see that the number of B surfaces reduced from 248 to 74 and the number of blends increased from 8 to 183. These changes mean that the geometry is much more reliable for editing. So now we can go off and make our change. We're going to edit the blend on the side of the model. We can now pick the blend faces that we want to change the radius on. You notice that the alert doesn't appear now. The optimized face has successfully converted these B surfaces into blends to make them editable. None of our competitors can make changes of this scale to non-native data. This is a CATIA part we're about to make a major change to. The combination of synchronous technology with optimized face gives us real competitive advantage. We're going to make a significant change to this blend. We're going to increase its radius to 60 millimeters and you can see how the overlap conditions and the other blends have all updated to maintain the model integrity.